Hello. You ready to, to, to find out how to build marketing into your marketing plan? Sounds good? Yes. yes. Brilliant. That's what I like to hear. Now, a couple of key things. I'm going to ask a lot of questions as we go through, because that's the way that, that I like to train. And it's a pretty simple format. I ask a question, I keep quiet, and you answer. Do you think you can manage that? Yes. yes. Can the rest of you manage that? <laughs> we'll warm you up as we get there. It's all going to be good. Okay. From what I understand, you guys are writing up a marketing plan and looking at each step to get to the process of building a really good plan, business plan, overall business plan. And obviously a key part of any business plan is how do you get customers because one of the sad realities of life is um, without customers you don't have a business. Because the only place money comes from is customers. In this, any of you have discovered any other ways of getting money? Legal ways, please. <laughs> okay. So, we've got to focus on getting customers because you can have the best business plan in the world, but if it is not fundamentally based on customers, how many customers you have, how much they're going to give you, how often they're going to give you, and what you're going to give them in return, you have a flawed business model. And any of you who ever go to pitch, when you go to pitch towards an investment group or anything like that, one of the key fundamentals they want to ask you is, who wants what you've got to offer? And why do you feel they want it? And how much of it do they want? And most importantly, how much are they willing to pay for it? Okay. So as we run through today, we're going to be looking at how do we get customers? How do we get the right customer? And how do we make sure that we either keep them coming back, if that's what we want to do, or that we get the most from them and get referrals going on? One of the, one of the wonderful things about training, uh, when I first got into training, I started training uh, 14 odd years ago, and there's a quote by Mark Twain that said, find a job that you enjoy and you will never work a day in your life. And I thought, oh, I like that. The concept of never working, rather appealing. Okay. So I thought to myself, well, what do I enjoy doing the most? What do I leap out of bed thinking, oh, good, I get to do that today? And what I discovered is I love to do this. Okay. I love to present, I love to train, I love to make a difference helping people, particularly in a business arena. And so I then... Spent. Once I came up with that, I then decided, great, I've got that all in the bag, and I then planned my life so I get to do this every day. So it's great, I get to, to have lots and lots of fun up here, and watch you all work very, very hard. It's lovely. <laughs> okay? Now, with that, because I've spent so much time in training, both sitting on that side of the table, coordinating it on that side of the table, I was a regional a business coordinator for... A vision manual two, which used to be just down the road, down the middle of town, and I sat in on dozens and dozens of training sessions. One thing was really interesting. It is amazing how many people come on a training course with no sense of expectation. And you know what? If you've come to here today with no expectations, then actually anything that you get, you know, if there was afternoon tea, getting that would be a bonus. Okay. Mm. Because you don't expect anything. So one of my key things is I want you to have a high degree of expectation. Both from me okay, and from what you're going to get from today. So, can you take a minute and think about what do you want from the summer? You've got to write up a marketing, uh, a business plan. And this is one aspect of that. Do you guys want to write a great business plan? Mm -hmm. Do the rest of you want to write a great business plan? <laughs> yes. Good, good. This is good. So... This is a core fundamental part of it. What do you want from me? The answers. <laughs> That's right. So you need to ask the question. So I'm asking you a question. What questions do you want me to answer? Who do you sell to? So who do you sell to? Fantastic. That's an excellent question. And the, the, what we call it is a TCP. And I'll explain that shortly. Great. What else? Um, help defining your, your, your USP. Your USP, fantastic. Why would I decide to buy from you when there's so many other options out there? Good, what else? What's USP? It stands for, the, it, it stands for your unique selling proposition, or your unique selling promise, or what we sometimes call a POD, what is your point of difference? What's different about you or what you offer that would make me choose it over 
whatever the competition is offering. So, once you know who this person is, how do you communicate with them? So, how do you connect with this target customer, this perfect person? Great. Okay. All right, well, we'll start with that. And as you go through, please just keep asking questions. At any point, at any time, ask straight away. If you don't ask me straight away, I can almost guarantee you that this is what's going to happen. I'll keep on talking, or somebody else will. You think, oh, that's a good point. I should ask a question about that. And that first question will just disappear. Okay? And then when you're sitting down to write your plan, you're like, oh, I should have asked that question. Just ask straight away. All right, great. So that's what you want out of today. So first and foremost, what do you understand about marketing? No. That's fine, okay. Mm -hmm. so, so marketing is everywhere, great. What else? It's how you get to know products and people, or how people get to know you. So, so how people get to know you, yeah? Yeah. Great, what else? There's lots of different ways to do it. There are lots of different ways to do it. Fantastic. All right. So is there a difference between sales and marketing? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference? Marketing is when you say, hey, buy my stuff. And sales is when they actually go and buy. Fantastic. OK. So in the reality, marketing involves dealing with and communicating with your target market. Okay, that's what marketing's about. And the reality is that if you were to look at marketing as an overarching thing, sales is a part of the marketing cycle. Because marketing is anything that you do when you connect with your customers or your potential customers. It's everything that you do. And sales, therefore, is a part of that process. Because actually sales is just the start of it. Once you've sold to somebody, and then you start to keep in touch with them, does that start, so is that sales or marketing? So let's just run through a typical thing. You're in design, so I'm going to pick kitchens, because that's, Janine comes from a kitchen background, so I'm going to pick on kitchens as I run through today, because it's a very designy thing. Great. So it starts off over here, where hubby comes home one day and says, um, I, uh, and it comes home and the wife's cooking in the kitchen, and she turns around to him and says, uh, we need a new kitchen. And he says, yes, yes, dear, we should talk about it. She says, you were not listening. We need a new kitchen. He goes, oh, yes, dear. <laughs> okay. At that point, she begins to look for this new kitchen. So she begins to search on the internet, read magazines, articles, speak to people, etc., etc. Is that sales or marketing? Research. That's research. Okay. And what is she researching? She's researching the available material out there, all right? And then she comes in to see somebody in a showroom. So now she goes into a showroom, and she meets a person in the showroom. Is that sales or marketing? When you speak to someone in a showroom, sales or marketing? Sales. Okay. Some of you say sales, some of you say marketing. And then she decides that she wants the person she's met to come to her house and measure up her kitchen. So the person goes to her house, measures her house up, okay, is that sales or marketing? Marketing. No. Okay, and then she comes back and she designs this kitchen, so your designer designs a kitchen for you, and the, the wife comes in to have a look at the design, to decide whether she wants it or not, is that sales or marketing? Sales. Sales. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. And then... Um, she decides, yes, she wants it, so she pays for it. Sales and marketing? Sales. Okay. And then, once she's bought it, you've then got to keep in touch with her to tell her where it is and when it's coming. Is that sales and marketing? Sales. Sales. Marketing? Both. Both? Okay. There is no clear, this is where sales ends and this is where marketing begins because they overlap each other. If you look at the fact that marketing is everything you do when you're working with your customer, and sales is a part of that process. 
Okay? So that's one of the first things to understand. Marketing is everything you do in your interaction with your customers. Because at every four point of interaction, at every point of what we call contact, your customers are forming a view and an opinion on you. So we therefore have to make absolutely sure that that point of contact is always as best as it possibly can be. Great, so that's marketing.